brutal attack on a max line send an sent an elderly man to the hospital and another man to jail and before we go any further a warning the details of this attack are gruesome and disturbing police say it happened overnight at the cleveland avenue max station in gresham and that's where we find fox Pro's adrian thomas with the latest on this investigation adrian yeah, Pete, like you said, those details are just very hard to listen to. Police say the suspect, 25-year-old Corin Kramer, attacked a 78-year-old man on this platform and chewed off the victim's ear and part of his face. Police are still investigating if drugs played a role in the attack, but frequent, frequent writers who use this platform say something needs to change. Police were called here just after 2.15 Tuesday morning after witnesses saw someone being attacked and lots of blood on the ground. When law enforcement got here, police say Kramer was still attacking the victim. Detectives say the victim's wounds were so bad they could see part of his skull. One writer who uses the Cleveland Avenue Stop Daily says after hours here are unsettling and she often sees people who look like they're on drugs or are experiencing mental health crises. It's a scary place in the morning some days. We've come up with people sleeping half naked and you don't know if they're been attacked or they are sleeping on the sidewalk that way. This attack comes less than a week after another assault on a max platform where a young girl was pushed down onto tracks. The girl is expected to be okay. Another writer we caught up with at the Cleveland Avenue stop says he has experienced quite a bit of hostility from people lately at this max station and on trains. They do the, like the intimidation factor. It, it's mainly getting like like kept caught off guard um, and not really having much time to react. For some riders like Sarah Seaborn, they feel TriMet doesn't do enough to keep law-abiding riders safe. Some of us pay to ride the train, you know, and so riding with people who are not always there, who will light up a joint or light up a cigarette and they think they have no rules that gets involved. Corin Kramer was arrested and charged with second-degree assault. He's due to be arraigned in a Multnomah County court tomorrow. In Gresham, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.